Hi and welcome to yet another new episode of Cooking with Elena. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite recipes of all times. I'm going to show you my version of chicken hakka noodles. What makes this recipe even more special today is the fact that it has been requested by one of my viewer. It really feels nice when viewers give in recipe suggestions because that's one way of staying connected with each other. Today's episode also has another surprise for you. Well, to know what it is, you will have to wait till the end of the video. For now, let's get started with cooking. So I've already pre-cut my vegetables and kept it aside. Now I'm going to prepare the chicken for the recipe. For this I'm using chicken breast and I'm going to slit the chicken breast into half just to speed up the cooking time of the chicken. So now that I've slit it into half, I'm going to cut the chicken into thin strips. So this is how the chicken pieces should look like. It should be thin bite-sized pieces. Now that it's done, let's go ahead and start with the cooking. Into a wok, I'm going to add in some vegetable oil. And into the vegetable oil, I'm going to add in some minced ginger and garlic. Next, I'm going to add the pieces of chicken that I've cut and kept aside earlier. Give it a good mix. Now, since I'm using chicken breast for this recipe, it doesn't take long time to cook. It cooks like within 5 minutes. So make sure you don't overcook the chicken because otherwise it's only going to get rubbery and chewy and that's not something you're looking for. So while my chicken is cooking in a pot, I have around 10 cups of boiling water. And to this boiling water, I'm going to add in some store-bought Hakka noodles. Now make sure the water is really boiling when you add the noodles. I'm not going to cook the noodles completely. I'm just going to cook it, let it cook for around 85%. It's been three minutes that the noodles have been cooking. I'm just going to check if it's done. And yeah, it's perfect. So at this stage, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to immediately transfer the noodles in a pot of ice cold water. Why ice cold water? I'll tell you in just a bit. So the reason I added the noodles in ice cold water is one, to stop the cooking process immediately. And secondly, because if I would pass the noodles through running water, I would have to add some oil to make sure the noodles don't stick to each other. But here I don't have to add oil because I think that's like just an extra step of greasiness. And also the noodles release the starch into the cold water. So that way it will again be starch free noodles. So now that my chicken is perfectly cooked, next I'm going to add in some mushrooms. I'm using button mushrooms here. Next, some carrot, the bulbs of spring onion, give it a good mix. Make sure the heat is on high because Chinese food should always be cooked on a high flame, especially noodles. Then I'm going to add in some green beans. some shredded cabbage. The quantity of vegetable is completely up to you. And finally, some green capsicum. Now give it a good mix. Again, the vegetable should not be cooked, overcooked either. So while my vegetables are cooking, I'm quickly going to make a sauce. So for the sauce into a bowl, I'm going to add in some water some soy sauce. I'm using dark soy sauce here. A little bit of green chili paste depending on how spicy you like it. Some vinegar and some brown sugar. Now I'm going to mix it well till the sugar dissolves. So now that my vegetables are completely cooked, I'm going to add in the sauce and give it a good mix. Now since my soy sauce already has salt, I'm not going to add in any more salt at this stage. I'm going to only add the salt or check for the seasoning once I add the noodles. As you can notice, the noodles are 
not sticky at all and they are fluffy and just perfect. So with the help of a fork, just to make it a little easier, I'm going to mix in everything together. At this stage, make sure you check for the seasoning if you need to add in some salt. I'm going to go ahead and add in some sprouts. Now, why sprouts? It not only adds to the nutrition of the dish, but trust me, it tastes amazing. And finally, top it off with some spring onion. Chinese food is incomplete with spring onion, so make sure you use as much as you want to. And give it one final toss to incorporate everything together. And your Chinese chicken noodles is all ready to be served. So here you have it. So my chicken hakka noodles are all ready. Let's give this a try. It's really tasty. My vegetables are perfectly cooked. It's not overcooked, so there's still a crunch to it. The sprouts. It's just tasty. Do give this recipe a try and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And now coming to the surprise part of today's episode. This time Friday is coming twice a week. Well, what I meant is that I'm going to see you guys on Monday, that's the 15th of August, with my Independence Day special episode. So stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Also, if you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family. If you want to connect with me on other social media, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye!